Hello guys, this is Nsang Trilong. Once more, I want to wish you an amazing 2015. Well, today I'm here to talk about something I entitled, Tell It Like It Is. Okay, first and foremost, to those living abroad, before you left Cameroon or whichever country you're from, you had this idea that in Europe, America, money literally grows on trees, like everything is a bed of roses out there. But as you went there and discovered that things are not the way you thought, you had to adapt, and now you are trying to be okay. So those back at home still have this idea. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because some of you abroad always complain that your families and friends back at home make um, excessive demands which you guys cannot meet most of the times and sometimes they feel like you guys are wicked or you don't just want to give but they don't understand the struggle and stress you guys go through and the kind of bills you have to pay each month just to meet up so this is what i think you should be able to educate your families and, and friends tell them like okay I am just a mortuary attendant, or I'm just a cleaner or a sales girl, and I barely have enough after I've paid my bills. So it's not like I don't want to take care of you guys or help you guys out. It's because I barely have. But if I have, I would love to do much as much as I can. But this is not a situation. Most of you guys have to lie. Please learn to tell it like it is. Tell, tell them, okay, brother, sister, father, uncle, this is what I do for a living. I don't have much. They, they will understand. Some of you have to lie just to impress them. Listen, even if your, your, your family knows that you just do menial jobs out there, they're not going to hate you. If anybody has to look down on you because you, 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 you have a, a menial job abroad, then those, those people don't really love you for who you are. Because if somebody loves you, no matter what you do, if it's legal, they will still love you. But if they have to turn your, your, their back on you, then please, you need to make a U-turn and, and forget about them. And also, secondly, I was talking with a friend, and he told me he cannot come to Cameroon and marry a woman because most of his friends who came home to marry and took their, their wives abroad had failed marriages. And, and so he said he cannot make that same mistake. But this is what I thought. I know my, my points might not really apply to all situations, but in most cases, it's because of the false hope you guys abroad give your ladies back at home. You know you don't have the means. You know you are just a cleaner or a bartender or whatever. But you give her high hopes. You tell her, oh, I have fleet of cars. I have this mansion. I have so much money. You make her to feel like, okay, as she's traveling abroad, everything is well. So when she gets there and she wants to reach your house, it's just a small, tiny house. What do you expect her to do? Some of them have to start looking for alternatives and you start seeing them messing up and doing stuff like that. At the end of the day, your marriage has crashed. So always learn to tell it like it is. If people love you for who you are, they will accept you no matter what, as far as it's legal. And also, to those who always get angry that your friends and families make demands, okay, Every day on Facebook, today you're in a Prada shop, tomorrow you're in Gucci, today you're, pump, you're, you're popping champagne, rosé, white, in nightclubs, this day you're you in this country, and you keep traveling, you keep giving this um, idea on social media that you are so rich and, and very fine out there. So this makes your family to feel like, okay, our son and daughter is doing okay, so bros, can you send us uh, $100? And then you tell them you don't have... Can you explain how come you don't have, when today you are, you are in a shop, you have taken a picture with a Gucci, a Gucci handbag, you have taken a picture with a Prada shoe. I know most of you just go to these shops to take pictures, you cannot even afford it. Please, you don't need to impress. I don't know who you're trying to compete with. Always learn to tell it like it is. Tell them the truth, they will understand with you and they will try to support you. Stop living a fake life, be you. You don't need to impress anybody for that person to love you. If you need to impress someone for, some, for that person to love you, then you need to have a rethink. So that's all I have for you guys today. Um, till we meet next time, I am Sang Delong. You can contact me on social media via Sang Delong. Okay, remain blessed and be good. Thank you.